Making steel in massive quantities was one of the great technological challenges of the Industrial Revolution. But it turns out that the secret to creating this mega material was known as far back as 300 BC, when it was made in India and Sri Lanka. The trick to creating this metal was in getting the exact right combination of steel's two main components, iron and carbon. But today, steel is everywhere. So how did it become the workhorse of the modern world? The answer is Henry Bessemer. Bessemer was a British scientist who in 1856 figured out an efficient way to turn iron and carbon into steel. He did it by using hot blasts of oxygen inside a specialized furnace to reduce the amount of carbon in the metal. The Bessemer process made steel production far more efficient than it ever had been in history. If you want to make good, high-quality steel, you blow pure oxygen through the iron, and this oxidizes the carbon that is in the iron. With temperatures over 2,000 degrees, the oxygen is literally burning the carbon out of the steel. Every day, 17,000 tons of iron ore pours into the furnaces at the Arcelor Middle Steel Mill in Cleveland, Ohio. And each year, this sprawling 1,000-acre facility single-handedly cranks out enough raw steel to build a train track around the globe. This plant is the most efficient integrated steel plant anywhere in the world. There's always a hot stove online. Foundries like this one use extreme heat and heavy machinery to blast away impurities from the iron ore and infuse carbon, creating a metal stronger, more flexible, and less dense than iron. 